Welcome back, and today we're going to go over an application that you might not know exists, but is extremely helpful and something you might be missing from your traditional office space, that being the Microsoft Whiteboard. Within Microsoft Teams, there is an application that a lot of people don't really pay attention to, but are constantly searching for, and that is the Whiteboard. It is actually an application within every meeting created within Microsoft Teams, unless you're in the GCC or certain licenses of the GCC, that you can take advantage of and draw on and pretend that we're all in back in our offices in the big old conference room, drawing on the whiteboard and really knocking things out. Now, I'm also gonna give you an alternative to the whiteboard, that being OneNote, and how you can utilize OneNote as a whiteboard if you are part of those GCC licensing keys that don't have this functionality, but you want a workaround. So let's get started. So here we are in Microsoft Teams. Now I am in a demo environment, but I'm gonna go into my calendar. So that's where you'll want to start. We want to go into the individual meeting. It looks like there is a meeting here that is taking place. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into this meeting as if it were starting right now. Now it's asking me about my preferences, of how I would like to join. I can join with a microphone. I could turn my camera on and then you guys would be able to see me, which camera doesn't look to be playing nice. And we can go into custom setup here. We could take a look at what it is that we're using for our cameras, etc., cetera, and uh, make sure we have all the audio devices that, that we want. We're gonna go ahead and keep everything off and just join the meeting. But that's how you would change it. Look at that, little tips inside tips. So now that we're in the meeting, if we got to the point where we wanted to present something out to members of the meeting on a whiteboard, we could do this fairly simple. Now this does have the controls down here in the left. If you're running a newer version, an updated version, like I mentioned before, this is a demo, a demo environment. If you are running a newer version, this could be in your top right. So just keep that in mind that I'm in the web browser in a demo environment. If you're on the desktop, in the new environment, it, this could be up top, but the functionality of the buttons is the same. We want to open up the share tray. Now, right off the bat, you'll see the desktop window. You'll see a specific, I have a PowerPoint presentation down here, but over here on the right, which might be a little hidden to some of you, is the Microsoft whiteboard. So that's this guy right here, and we'll go ahead and click that. It's going to load up the whiteboard and then we'll be able to take control of it. This would be really cool if you have a Microsoft Surface device where you can grab the Surface Pen and actually physically draw on it. But if you're like me and you just have a mouse, then we're just gonna have to make do. So here's the whiteboard. Uh, right now it has a hand, we're moving it around. I know you can't tell, that's because we don't have anything drawn on it. There also is an app for this where it says we can open it specific to the app, but we're gonna stay right here in this meeting. Now we do have a couple different pens that we can use. We have the black pen, the red, green, and the blue. There's also the eraser. Then we could physically add text. And if we want to get super old school, you know, we want to just act like we're really in the office, we can add sticky notes, which is fun. And we can draw on these sticky notes. Uh, we could change the color of the sticky notes to maybe we want to do some agile methodology thing and organize these things out. So that's pretty cool. Now let's use the pen. Let's just draw a few things. I'm gonna write my name. There's Roy. I'll do a little eyeballs, maybe a nose and a smiley face. And look at that, that's pretty good, right? Uh, we'll add an ear over here, an ear over there, a chin, maybe he's got a butt chin. And uh, now if I wanted to move it up, I grab this little arrows, pan and zoom, and I can scroll up. See how I did that? And then I can add, with the pen, I can add hair. All my 90s people, you realize that we all spiked our bangs at one point in our life, right? <laughs> so there you go. Uh, it, it's a really easy tool to utilize. Has a lot of functionality. I love the whiteboard. You can go back and then remove specific areas. Notice that when I erase though, I can't just like erase little parts of it. It takes the whole pen stroke away. So you'd have to go like that. Then I can use the eraser to take away each pen stroke if I wanted to. 
So I, it, and then if I hold it down, then I can erase multiple pen strokes. Then you have the type. So we'll just write something out. Now it does look like it's handwritten, which I guess is kind of cool. Uh, that's just out of effect, but that's how you would be able to use that out. So if you wanted to draw something here, we're drawing an architecture maybe, and we say, okay, the, you know, we could click the text. We could say environment. Then we could say a new one, and we could say running instances. And there we have, we have the running instances that are in green inside of our environment, and then maybe we wanted to add like a something. That is the ethernet, right? Or network cable. I don't know. There we go. And so that's how we can easily use the whiteboard to design things out as if we were back in our cozy offices somewhere drawing these out. So after you've drawn this out and you're ready to share it on with your members of the meeting, you can go over here and you can export this as a PNG file. You can allow other participants to edit. So that's what this little switch, maybe you have a bunch of people in the room and you don't want them drawing funny figures on your whiteboard, that's okay. You can lock that so then other members of the meeting can't draw on it. So only you would be able to draw on it, which could be of some use. So then we can export this as a PNG and save it and then send it out or we can, uh, you know, find out a little bit more information from Microsoft. So a pretty useful tool. If you don't have this tool, not to worry, I'm gonna show you another application that you could use instead, that being OneNote. So we're gonna go back into our homepage, open up OneNote, and we're gonna create a new notebook here, and we'll just call this test, hit create. And now that we've created this notebook, uh, we have this page, and we're just gonna go over to draw. And then here in draw, well, we have to name a section first, we'll call it whiteboard. Now here in draw, we can do similar things to what we did prior to. So we could say this is the environment map. And then we can choose our color. So maybe we wanted to match what we had before, where we have red. So we could use red here, and then we can change whether it's a highlighter or a pen. And then we can just simply draw. And before we had green instances, and then we can add text the same way. So we could say environment, and then we could add more text and say running instances. And then we could add some blue, that was our network. And there we have it. Here, we can also change the, the width of it, which we couldn't do in whiteboard. So there are some instances that this notebook can be a little more beneficial to you than whiteboard. Now whiteboard comes with every meeting. You have to do a lot less steps. Here in OneNote, you have to go through a couple of different things. You can share these out afterwards. So once we've drawn it, we can share anyone with this link if you wanted to share it out afterwards. So there are some things that you can do. You can create boxes. You can do lots of different things, right? There's highlighters. So we could say this is the environment, running instances, network API. Then there's, uh, you know, we have other colors that we can make, you know, pink. So we can just have fun with this little draw tool, which is, is pretty cool. We can also do math here, which uh, you can't do math over in the whiteboard tool. So there's the pluses and minuses to both. Whiteboards come with meetings and are saved to the meetings. You can export them as PNG files here in OneNote. You would have to share your screen if you wanted to produce this to the overall team. You share your screen, share the OneNote, use this as your whiteboard, and then you can share it out afterwards or share it out for people to collaborate with in real time. You weigh the differences. Maybe if you're in a GCC environment that doesn't have a whiteboard, you don't really have a choice. Either way, these are your two options to utilize something similar to your office whiteboard that you miss so dearly. And guess what? the pens will never run out of ink, which happens far too often. Who's buying these whiteboard markers that don't have any ink? How come every time I go into a conference room and pick up a, 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 a marker, it automatically doesn't have any ink and the only one that ever works is yellow? 
Who buys yellow whiteboard markers? Anyways, you can hardly see it. I digress. Guys, if you got a lot out of this video, please hit me in the comments. Like and subscribe. If there's a functionality that you want to see or you have questions about, hit those in the comments as well. And until next time, guys, see ya.